It's AOC's professional monitor with a 28-inch screen size. It has a 4K resolution Ultra HD with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 with a maximum refresh rate of 60Hz. Plus, it has AMD FreeSync support for gaming needs. Now, when it comes to I.O., there is one D-Sub, one DVI-D, one HDMI 2.0 and one DisplayPort 1.2, audio jack, as well as DC in. Now, looking at the bezels at the side and the front, it's all measuring at 1.8 cm. When the monitor is pushed against the wall, there is a 9 cm clearance between the wall and the monitor itself. Now, design-wise, looking at the back, it has a black color finish all around with a glossy part as well as brush plastic finish. And looking at the base, bottom area is also silver brush finish but there's ample room for placing your phone power banks or any accessories within your hand reach for quick access ergonomic wise it has a 5 degrees front tilt and a 24 degrees back tilt there is no swivel adjustment though i wish there is high adjustment or support for visa mount the monitor weighs 5.2 kgs in total. Now, when you open a box, you receive this special paper from AOC Factory, which is the calibration report, showing you the color as well as the brightness, uniformity results. This is important for content creators like me, who wants a calibrated monitor right from the factory itself so we can start doing our work. Now, this monitor is using a TN panel with a 72% NTSC color gamut space, which reflects to 100% sRGB color gamut space, which is good for photo and video editing like I do if you're working on sRGB color space. Especially like most of our recent videos, you notice that the video looks awesome because we are actually editing on this monitor itself. This monitor has 157 ppi or pixels per inch, making images and video looking sharp and crisp thanks to its 4K panel. The viewing angles is limited to 170 degrees horizontal and 160 degrees vertical. It's not a big issue because most of the time I plant myself in the middle of the monitor screen and edit as it is. I do not go sideways. 4K is great for us content creators because I can see my video preview as big as possible, my timeline as big as possible, and my adjustment tabs as well as my folder bin. Now, if you edit on a conventional smaller screen, you notice that your video preview and your timeline is much smaller and you may need to close certain tabs to see those previews and adjust the timeline adjustment itself. Whereas in this monitor, I can just full blast open everything and I can edit as it is. Similar situation when I am editing on photos on Lightroom itself. Now in the past, smaller screen size and smaller resolution, I do have to zoom in at least 50% uh, or one-to-one -one scale to correctly sharpen my image or draw you know like brushes along the lines as accurate as possible whereas with a 4k resolution real estate you can actually edit as it is accurately without zooming in and checking out the sharpness or accuracy so the next thing is this monitor has a matte or non-reflective coating that prevents a light glare and flare to appear from on the monitor itself though i wish aoc also provide the shading hood like some of the other competitors, so it can block extra stray lights, say LED lights or natural lights if you're editing on the daytime itself or in the studio. For gaming, it has a 1 millisecond response time and you're capable to game at 4K 60Hz, though you need a good graphic card to power the 4K resolution. Now, if 60Hz is not your thing, AOC also have a monitor lineup that offers 144Hz as well as 165Hz. So, you have choices right there. But overall, when gaming casually like StarCraft 2, um, Blade and Soul Online, as well as Overwatch at 60p or 60hz, it's not a big deal and it's enjoyable to game at 4K resolution. Seriously, you should try it out. That has been my review for this AOC monitor. I hope you like it. Comment below what do you think about this monitor. Remember to like and subscribe and see you guys in the next review video. Bye.